Hi, I'm Tara from Empowering Motherhood and this video is about the seventh secret to childbirth. Now the seventh secret to childbirth is that birth is a rite of passage and it's, ex it's an experience that we need to go through in order to allow the transformation into motherhood, into being a mother of two or four or whatever it is that you're personally going through. There's a lot of changes um, to accept and get used to and to allow yourself to blossom into, but it takes a process and birth, there's a reason why pregnancy is nine, 10 months and that birth, especially a first um, labor, takes time. Uh, women need that time, the men need that time, the baby often need this time to come through into this new part of their life, their new identity, this transformation um, that happens to them. So one of the things I really want to point out here is that your birth does matter. The experience that you have, that your baby has, that your partner has, it really does matter. Um, and you'll often hear um, it said, as most, mostly in the media or sometimes by well-meaning friends and family, you know, that it's just a day in your life as long as the baby's okay. And while this might hold true um, mentally, it's actually not what we experience as women. It's a deep and profound experience that we have. And we, as a society, we really need to acknowledge that. Um, and if you have had a traumatic birth or you're no, you know someone that has, they really need to get someone to talk to, um, debriefing the birth with someone who understands that birth is a, is a really profound rite of passage for women. Um, and once we start to look at it like this, we really get um, a different approach to, to caring for the mother and the baby and doing everything that we can to support her emotional well-being through the process. Um, so what can we do to support it as a rite of passage? Uh, as I said, the main thing is to actually acknowledge that it is a very deep, profound experience that a woman holds within her for the rest of her life. Um, and that we can't brush that under the carpet, which has been done for a long time and is still done uh, by many, many people. Because then what you have is whether you had a really positive birth or uh, women have had a traumatic birth or... Sometimes even the baby going into special, they might have had a really great birth and then the baby's gone into special care. That is very intense. It's a very deep experience. Um, and we're holding this unbelievable space for ourselves and the baby or your partner is for you and your baby uh, while, we, while the process unfolds. Um, and it's just so important to acknowledge this. Otherwise, we have a lot of women walking around feeling a little traumatized or a lot traumatized um, and men as well. So once we, I want you to really acknowledge that birth is a rite of passage. Um, and it's one of the reasons that blessing ways have become a lot more popular again. In fact, I've just come from one today where it, you know, it's lovely to have a baby shower and to um, bring presents for the baby and, and celebrate uh, that the baby's coming. But it's also really important to stop and tell the mother that we're, we're here for you. Um, we're here blessing you and your baby for the experience that you're about to go through. And we're gonna be here for you afterwards. Usually it's a bit of a tearjerker, um, but in a really good way. And letting the mother know you can reach out to us. Um, and if it's you, you know, who are those people that you're going to reach out to? Who are the people that are going to be understand this for you and with you? And we need to draw those people in as part of our support team, which we spoke about earlier. So just recapping on this, the most important thing is that we actually acknowledge it as a really important rite of passage, that birth, uh, no matter which way it goes, no matter which way it unfolds each, each time around, it's a very profound and deep experience that lives in us for the rest of our life and also for the baby as well and that we really need to honor this space and support uh, the mother and the baby and the father considering this whole notion that it's just this huge profound journey and change and transformation so if you have any questions about this please let me know um, what can you do just start to think about what that means for you start to be a little patient and kind with yourself leading up to your labor during labor and afterwards and give yourself time, plenty of time to sit with it. So to illustrate this, what you'll actually find is that many um, cultures all around the world traditionally 
um, the mother was in a confinement period after the birth, which would often be four to six weeks. Um, and in Western society, we've sort of jumped on this bandwagon of just being, you know, you're a super mum if you've got back in your jeans and you've got back out um, and you're out with your baby and you're not letting any of this change your life. But in fact, we actually really need this rest period after birth. Um, and I always did two weeks in bed, four weeks at home. Not only are you allowing the baby to have a lovely, slow adjustment to, um, to life uh, on this side, earth side as we call it, um, and a slow adjustment and introduction into the world, you're also allowing yourself to just take this time to slowly let the experience that you've had settle in, for you to process it and for you to integrate it. Um, and it's actually a really, really important part of having a really good recovery, a good bond with the baby, um, and often really supports to make breastfeeding more successful. So just think about that whole picture of going into birth as um, a rite of passage and really allowing yourself time and space to go into labor, to go through labor and birth and to just take that time, you know, at least four weeks to let yourself adjust, let the baby adjust and um, process everything that has happened over that time. There's so many changes happen so quickly on practical levels, on physical levels, on hormonal levels um, and for everybody in the family. So I'll leave you with that. I really look forward to um, hearing your feedback on any of this and I will see you shortly.